looking. Hi guys, it's Z Zelda NRJ3. Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, April that day. <laughs> it's 2.33 p.m. As you can see, I am dressed. I showered, I shaved, and I have my beautiful TL Yarn Crafts, the Omar Wrap Shawl on. I love this shawl to death. Now you may be asking Z, why are you showered? Why are you dressed? Good question. Thank you for asking, my friends. A certain somebody that we all know and love that is new to the scene. Her name is Refuge, my granny's closet. Woo -woo! She had a craft fair today in Corona, California. And um, Thelmer, Dolores, and myself all went out there to go meet her and say hello and welcome her to the beautiful crochet community that we call our little neck of the woods. It was so fun to see her. I bought uh, some blueberries. I bought a French baguette and my kettle corn. Ah! And then I walked around and I was checking out the scene, scoping it out. And then I saw her. I saw her standing there in her beautiful booth. And I walked up to the booth and I immediately saw Thelmer and Dolores. Yet I didn't know it was Dolores yet. But I know she was talking to somebody. And then I'm standing there and I'm looking. And she turns around. She's like. And I'm standing there looking at her. And Refuge turns around. She's like. Ah! <laughs> so we ran and we hugged each other. And she's like, I normally don't hug. And I said, I know, but. All of my subscribers said, please give Refuge a hug for me. So I hugged her and 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 I hugged her. And, I hugged her. and she's like, you're cracking my back. <laughs> and then I kind of let loose of my grip. And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you guys. I was so excited to see her. And then I saw Thelma and I went, because <laughs> that's what we do. Me and Thelma, we joke around. And then she goes, this is Dolores. And that's where she turned around. And I was like, Dolores! Dolores G, she is one of our subscribers. She has been with us for a very, very long time. Thank you, thank you for coming out, Dolores. It was so fun to meet you. She told me she might be there, so I purposely brought her some Z swag because I wanted her to have some yarn in his life. I gave her a giant big old hug, and then I gave her the sticker that says 1-800-Z touched me because now she's been officially touched by Z. Ah, it was so great. We walked around her booth. She has the most incredible items in her booth. I'm going to show you what I purchased. And then I'm going to do a little walkabout in her area. So she has these beautiful uh, handmade crochet scrunchies. She did a tutorial. Actually, Refuge has a tutorial for these. They're done with uh, velvet yarn, I think. I will link the tutorial at the bottom and at the end of my channel. Just click it and you can watch it. And you guys know I'm scrunchy life all day. Except today I wore a clip because I'm trying to look sexy and cute. Because <laughs> I wanted to meet up with her and, and just, oh, just, it was so fantastic. So this is one of the scrunchies. This is a smaller one. And I got my peep, y'all. It is heavenly. I was going to give this to Aurora, but like I told you guys, I've probably bought her like $200 in Easter stuff throughout like the past few months. I'm like, oh, for Aurora, oh, for Aurora. So I'm going to keep this one if you don't mind because I think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful little coral peachy color, like a coral pink, and it's glitter. If you can see the little glitters in there. It is perfectly done. There's no San Andreas fault. For those that are new to my channel and are like, isn't that an earthquake? Yes, it is. But I live in SoCal in the Whittier area and we have the San Andreas fault here. And that is the crack where you connect and you're like, ee -er, ee -er, ee -er, and you see that big old fault line. I call it the San Andreas. There is no San Andreas. This is perfectly created. It's nice and tight and squishy. 
and it's beautiful and I love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I also saw that she had these and I've been seeing them all over YouTube and Instagram. I was gonna try and make it, but my hands have not been feeling bueno. So I saw it and I wanted to support my friend. So I bought Mr. Froggy. Froggy Legs Thilmer, is that what it's called? He is so adorable. Oh my gosh, he is perfect. Perfect, perfect. He's gonna sit on my shelf with all my other little friends. I think he's gonna be Freddy the Frog. That's what he just told me right now. You guys know I hear stuff, yeah. Freddy the Frog. Hello! <laughs> on her video, uh, I think a couple of videos back, she showed that she makes these uh, glass tumblers and she fills them with either michelada stuff or coffee stuff. And I got the coffee one. Look, look at this. She has her information there. She has a cup cozy, two cup cozies. She has a spoon, a little coffee thing, and some caramel um, creamers. What else is in there? Oh, and the straw. It's a metal straw. That's, you hear that? That hurts. That's metal. <laughs> Look at these. She sells these. These are her handmade cozies. Look at the stitch work though, yo. That's impeccable. Oh my gosh. My hands would be cramping with this. I love supporting fellow crafters. I really, really, really do. Oh my gosh. This is just perfect. Perfect, perfect. And then you put it all in your container. And you drink away. It is so cute! Sorry for yelling, I got excited. Next up, she had these little crochet, um, little accessory boxes. This has a crochet hook, and it says thank you on the back. It's got a tape measure, little scissors, which I love. I don't know where she got these from, but I love those scissors. They are so sharp. And then there's a, a darning needle and some stitch markers. Let's open one up. So I got the blue hook, a red heart with a crochet hook, and then a green one with a crochet hook. I'm going to open this red one because I like it a lot. The stickers are what sold me, especially what's inside, but the sticker I was like, ah! Notions case. I knew it'd come to me. I knew it. So we open her up. Beautifully, beautifully crafted tape measure. These scissors, dude. If you ever see these scissors, buy them. I bet you that you'll be able to take these on the plane. I bet you. Not that I fly, but I'm just saying. You just slide the button over. and the scissors come out. Bing, 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 bing. They are super duper sharp. And to hide them, you slide it right back. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look how everything is so matchy, matchy. Green stitch markers, and then a beautiful darning needle. Oh my gosh, Refuge, you just, you take so much consideration into making stuff because I would not know how to put things like this together. That's why you're the seller and I'm the buyer. <laughs> so I got three of them. She had these um, for a crane machine thing where you, I guess the little kids can go in there and get something. But she was trying to put it together and I was impatient. And I'm like, oh, are you selling the stuff inside? So she said, yes, I could sell it to you. So she sold me one. And of course I got the one heart that was there. They're the, um, what are those popping things called? Like when you, to calm you down when you're freaking out, because I tend to freak out a bit. That's why I told you I got the phalanges right here. And when I get nervous, I just, uh, makes me feel better. But I got these little push things. 
And then I saw this, right? She had this hanging in the middle of her canopy. And I'm like, oh, a necklace, I want it. And Thelma's like, no, Louise, they're for the glasses. And I'm like, no, Thelma, you put a hook and it's a necklace. <laughs> so I love it. I'm going to put a little hook at the end and it's going to be my necklace. Look at, it's like lace weight yarn. The little beads in there. I've never seen anything like this. It's beautiful. It's going to look great as a necklace. It's so cool. It is so cool. I love it. It's, I mean... Her whole booth was screaming, come in, come in, come take a look. And it was just so comforting and exciting. Like everything, like you could tell everything was handmade with love, which it was. It was handmade by Refuge, but everything is just made so perfectly. The, the wrap that she showed on the video the other day, it is beyond beautiful. It is about, what? Uh, two feet wide at least it's huge and she pays so much attention to detail and I love that it's just perfect everything stitches are perfection impeccable beautiful refuge you're the bomb the bomb.com and I met you ah! <laughs> so we sat there we took some pictures I did some video I kept hugging her I met her mom she's so cute I met her sister and her sister's husband and then I met some of the folks that come in there every week, the regulars. Um, I was over there promoting some of her items. I'm like, look at, look at this beautiful little notions pouch. It's got for, for knitters, for crocheters. If you sew, it's handcrafted just for you. And look at the beautiful sticker. And Refuge was laughing. She's like, oh my gosh, you're promoting my stuff. I'm like, that's what I do, baby. <laughs> I am a people person. That is what I do. Last but not least, when I was getting ready to leave, she's like, I have something for you. And I said, what? If you guys don't know, she makes key fobs. And she gifted me this. And I said, ooh, is that the horsey corn? And she goes, no, it's like the bull. And I said, ooh, horsey corn 2.0. So pretty. And then there's a little key thing and you put it on your wrist and you're all set to go. She also included a thank you card I don't know if those are mints, but they show be looking tasty. But I am so happy. Everything is just made so good with so much love. Um, stood there with her about maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Could not get enough of her. She is so cute. A little tiny little thing. Thelma gifted her a hand knitted um, beanie. With and we just had fun. My spirits are so high. I'm so happy. I got to be with my Thelmer. Got to be with Dolores. We finally met. We've been trying to meet for so long. And with Refuge. So, I I mean, if you guys get the opportunity to go to Corona and go see her. She won't be there next weekend. She has a woman's retreat. But the following weekend, I think she will be there. You have to message her. And she'll let you know the details. We said our goodbyes and then I came back and then we said our goodbyes and then I came back and then we said our goodbyes again because I just couldn't get enough of her. She's just so adorable. In the end, uh, we were next to a restaurant called Honey's and Thelma was like, I used to go there back in the day. You know, we should go eat there. I'm hungry. I was like, I'm starving. So we went over there to Honey's. I had a wonderful tuna melt sandwich because you guys know I'm still not eating meat and um, some onion rings and I had delicious iced tea and she got a juicy burger with mushrooms and I'm looking at her I'm like can I just smell it she's like no you're not eating meat and then I was like can I have a mushroom and coat it with some some meat juice <laughs> she's like you're a weirdo <laughs> so she gave me a couple mushrooms and they were delicious I savored them and then me and Thelma walked to our cars and uh, a few, I think last month, February? Oh, February. I believe it was February. Thelma was on Jamie Parlevu Crochet's television, which I think is every Friday or every other Friday. I'll leave that link down below. She was on, she had a television and I purchased one of her beanies. And me and there was, there were so many of us like, 
sold 210 sold 211 sold 212 everything thomar put up sold 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 so i was like shoot i'm trying to get in on something get in where i fit in you know because it was just everywhere i mean everybody was like buying 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 sold 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 i purchased one of these and then her sister purchased the other one and Thelma was like, wait, you don't like that color? Why'd you get that color? And I'm like, I want it. I want it. Don't tell me that ain't my color, lady. And she's like, okay, okay. I'm just checking because that's not normally your color. I'm like, look, I'm trying to support you, my friend. I'm trying to support you. And she started laughing. Because she's, she's right. She's 100% right. This is not my color, but I want to support my friend. And this was all I could get in. <laughs> so this... So this is the beanie that I got. It is a messy bun beanie. I can wear it when I take Chopper to um, walkies. She hand knit this for me. This is, I think, Charisma yarn, if I'm not mistaken, or I love this chunky yarn. And then there's the, the part for the, the bun. And there's her ladybug. She puts a ladybug on everything because it's good luck for her. It's beautiful. And then this one, her sister saw that I was struggling, <laughs> trying to get anything. So she let me have this one. And this is her own, I think this is her own pattern above the rim. Look, there's a certain way she does these little floaty things. I'm not a knitter, so I don't know the terminology. But if you can see up close, there's these sections that pop out. There's her label, and it stands for Pamela's Crochet and Knit Corner, and her ladybug. And then there's her ladybug on the back, and then the hole for the bun, and it's beautiful, beautiful. So this is what Thelmer gave me from the television, and that is it, my friends. I had an amazing, amazing time. I needed to get out. The drive to Corona took about 40, 45 minutes because I got some traffic, but it was so good. I mean, it was all mountains and the scenery was beautiful. There's pine trees out here. I was like, what? Like, we don't have that. I'm in the city. We don't have that. When you get out there, it's like I was out in the country. The roads were open. It was great. I mean, just being out was wonderful. So I'm so glad I got the opportunity to hang out with my Thelmer, hang out with Dolores, hang out with Refuge. Refuge was the cherry on top. And I'm so glad I had that opportunity. Thank you so much for letting us know where you'd be. I'm glad all the planets aligned and the Lord was looking out for us and we all got there safely. So thank you again for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you enjoy the little clip at the end of us. And please, if you get the opportunity to see the video before this one, it's regarding our beautiful friend Yolanda Soto Lopez from the All Crafts channel. She is in the hospital and she's asking everybody to please, please pray for her. She saw the video yesterday. I texted her. I said, is that okay? I said, I added the clip when we went to stitches and we were laughing because she farted. <laughs> she didn't fart, but <laughs> you have to watch the video. She's like, that's fine. That's fine. You can add that and trying to keep her spirits up you know i'm here she's down there by san diego and if i have to i'll drive i'll drive to you yo you know how i do if i gotta go check on you maybe pick you up and do what i gotta do i will you just holla let me know praying for you i love you i love all you guys have a beautiful easter tomorrow if you celebrate it if you don't have a beautiful sunday and don't forget Please be kind because you never know what the other person is going through. Have a beautiful weekend. I love you, Refuge. And I got my hugs in. <laughs> I love you. And I can't wait to see you again. Hopefully one day we can hang out and crochet. Thelmer, Dolores, Refuge, me, Vicky Sue, and uh, Kimmy, the Crafty Nomad. All of us get together. Southside hookers. <laughs> okay, friends. Love you and have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Bye.
thank you so much friends for clicking on to my channel i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you will subscribe like and share the video and check out these two videos here i hope you enjoy them and have a beautiful day bye bye